The entire palace shook, and no one knew what was really going on. Goku left the place, his anger exceeding what was necessary, and he headed with unimaginable speed directly to meet Gohan. Everyone felt his strength and were amazed and their bodies trembled, so everyone united in one place to defend themselves and out of fear, considering that Goku had awakened the monster inside him. Everyone gathered in addition to the rulers of destruction. After a few minutes, Goku finally arrived. Then he descended to the roof and took direct steps towards his friends. Vegeta was the middle of them. After that, Goku spoke first. Hello my friends, how are you? I thought you were in danger. A lot happened with those guards. Well, I think things are stable now. What? My father is okay. I thought he had come to destroy this place, but he came so quickly. What's wrong with you guys? I see you staring at me. What's going on? Everyone was silent at this moment, unable to speak the truth. But everyone does not know the fact that Goku knew everything through the dream he had previously. Kakarot, I have something I want to say. In fact, I want to pick a fight with you. Let's see your abilities and whether you are actually able to defeat me. You were not able to do that until the guards stopped our fight. Let's do it. Vegeta. Enough. I know you want to say it. Well, I heard everything. And now friends I actually want to bid you farewell. I know full well that I pose a danger to you, and I knew the truth through the dream I also had. I also knew that Gohan read the cursed book, and because of it, we are now in a dilemma. I can protect you. I have striven in my entire life to protect the earth and protect my friends, and it is impossible for me to allow myself any presence if it poses a danger to you. What? What are you saying, Kakarot? I claim that I want to fight with you, so why do you speak such nonsense? Vegeta, I am sorry. I will not be able to fulfill your desire. I know what is going on more than you do. There are now only a few minutes left and the evil that you were seeing in your dreams will be resurrected. I can only say goodbye to you now. I'm telling you that I had friends who were nothing like them, and that I had an experience with people like you that I will never forget. I will leave now, friends. Goku, if it seems that you actually knew everything, it is good that you knew the truth, otherwise we would not have been able to tell you that. And we are very sorry that we were not able to resist this separation, but this would be against us. Oh priest, I will not blame you for anything, but on the condition that you erase me from existence. Come on, do it until no part of me remains in this existence and I disappear completely. What do you say Goku? But it's better to lock yourself away. Don't laugh with me, I'm not kidding. Come on priest, the best thing you can do now to guarantee your future is to erase me from existence. Don't hesitate to do it. While the priest raised his hands to fulfill Goku's wish, Gohan literally shouted. Dad. Stopped. Gohan came forward at this moment and then hugged Goku tightly. Not only that, but Shishi also came forward and all of his friends had come to the truth and accepted this situation because they had no other choice. After that, everyone was bid farewell, and the priest actually raised his hands and then erased Goku from existence, and unfortunately everyone was sad, they were faced with this circumstance. Everyone left for where they would live and now they cannot bear how they will live their lives without Goku. After Goku was erased, the priest went directly to the palace in order to return to his usual services. As soon as he arrived at the palace, he witnessed an event for which no explanation could be found. As soon as the priest stood on the roof of this place, he felt, someone was chasing him from behind, then the priest turned around and found no one. The priest continued to move forward and ignored this matter, but now something happened in which the priest had to be careful. A strange being appeared whose appearance was not good. His eyes were glowing red, evidence that something evil had been unleashed within this being. The priest looked in astonishment, then looked at this being again, trying to find an explanation for what was standing in front of him. The creature was silent and did not make any movement, and its color was somewhat blackish, meaning that this person controlled by evil. The priest spoke saying, What made you come here? It is impossible for any being to break through the wall of this place, unless he possesses terrible strength. Excuse me for entering this place priest but I will complete my task in a few seconds so as not to disturb that little dwarf Zeno. I will end your affairs. You erased Goku and I was in control of his body, but after I heard that you agreed to get rid of him, I am now still alive after I moved to this body. So this was all your fault? You are the one who took control of this situation and appeared in all of our dreams to claim your place in this world. Where did you come from? What is your goal in this life? Why do you want to sabotage the system? Well, it's easy priest. Once Gohan read that book, this gave me the opportunity to go out and take control of the world. I lost Goku's body, which was perfect, but at least I moved to this body that I found. 
The priest became angry at this moment, and a fight broke out in this place in the palace, and the place exploded, and everyone began to wonder where this destruction had emerged from. The destruction had reached the entire fluid of existence, even on planet Earth, which is millions of kilometers away from this place. Everyone sensed this destruction and felt a force, and he is now emerging in the palace. The priest came face to face with this creature and was keen to finish his matter before Zeno found this ruin. In fact, Zeno did not feel anything, as he was inside the palace, where no headache or earthly vibration of what was happening outside could reach him in his entire existence. The fight continued between the two, and they clashed to a very extreme and dangerous extent. There was no support for the priest in this ordeal. This evil was extremely dangerous, and he continued to strike the priest with severe and powerful blows until the priest fell and was unable to continue. The only person who knew about this happening was Mikashin the priest's wife, who went out to see this chaos and stop this happening. Indeed, Mikashin went out and stopped this villain, but Zeno sensed this and went out to find out what was happening. Mikashin was worried about Zeno and feared that he would be harmed or even that this creature's body would be controlled. Indeed, it was restricted by Mikashin, who found this technique and also had gains beyond the level of a priest. Indeed, this villain was arrested and transferred directly to a place of exile, where he was shackled with chains on all sides. All of this was thanks to Mikashin, who was distinguished by this terrible strength. Zeno's father is worried about their young son for fear of being controlled, but the truth is that he does not know what is going on. So Mikashin did not tell Zeno that the evil that was sent inside Goku is the same one that has awakened inside this person who now stands in chains. I will not allow you to stop my dream. I will continue until I take advantage of this opportunity that has been given to me. Come on, untie me, otherwise I will explode in anger. Please stay away, Mr. Zeno. This situation is dangerous for you. It does not suit you. I won't move away until I know where Goku is now and what this being claims to be. You want to know where Goku is? O King? Well, let me tell you now that he does not exist, and this is because of the priest. I was about to protect him, but I knew that the priest wanted to erase him, and I fled to this body. Zeno was shocked after he learned the truth, but no one was now able to satisfy Zeno with the other reality, so he became very angry, and this of course made Mikashin lose her focus on tightening those chains that bound the villain. Here, the villain took advantage of the opportunity and became extremely angry after taking advantage of Mikashin's neglect of him. Indeed, he increased his strength to a great degree and began screaming, attracting everyone's attention. Zeno also stopped getting angry after this villain caught his attention. After a few minutes, this villain got rid of the chains and produced a new form, which means that his strength has now increased more than before. The villain did not stop there, but he thought of escaping and taking advantage of another opportunity so as not to be trapped again, then he moved at the speed of lightning, heading towards planet Earth. This is to sabotage it and see if there is someone worthy of him to take over the world. Impossible. It is clear that he means for all of Goku's friends to perish. We have to find a way to surround him, priest. I will handle this case. You just have to make sure to protect Zeno. We must find a way to end this evil. At this moment, in a very strange place where nothing fills him, Goku was in a state of astonishment and wonder, as he seemed alone in this silent place, which is not filled by any being, and in which no sound is heard, or even any air. It can be said that it is a place where there is no life at all. Goku began to take a step forward to explore the place and find someone to discover his identity and find out exactly where he is. Goku was unable to sense any force. Goku continued to walk with several steps, and suddenly a being appeared in front of him, which had the features of Sion. It is clear that this being was also erased, because everyone who is erased is resurrected in a place like this. Who are you? It's like I saw you somewhere, right? Listen to me, you seem to be new in this place. Hello and welcome to this exiled world where it is not filled with life. In this place, survival of the fittest. What are you saying? Survival of the fittest? What do you mean? Obviously you've been erased, haven't you? Yes. Every person has been erased and is automatically resurrected in this place, which has no air, no water, and no food. Here we train and continue without fatigue and also without the need to eat, and the result is always amazing. Everyone who attains supreme power remains in control and ruler in this place. Now I have received you and I have felt your power, but you will not be able to do that, and this is because the level of our power is extremely terrible and no one is able to match it, even that King Zeno who is responsible for the annihilation. What are you saying? This is very strange, but if that is the case, why are you unable to go out? Isn't this contradictory to what you said? You fool, I told you that we are in the exiled world, meaning that we do not exist at all. It is the spirit that flies in this place. 
We can now be considered that we are mere spirits, but our strength is terrible. If we had found a way out, we would have gone out and taken control of the world, and we would not have remained in this place, little one. What? Obviously you mean to insult me, you want to try my level of strength, so you seem confident of yourself. At this moment, Goku attacked this creature that almost resembled him, and in the end he received a shameful blow that made him faint completely. Where is Goku now, and what are these creatures that he encountered here, how dangerous are they, and do they have good intentions towards him or not? At this moment, in the outside world, it seems that the evil one has taken control of planet Earth and all that remains of it is destruction. He then killed all but friends and annihilated all beings on this planet in the blink of an eye. This is good. This is what I wanted. Well, it is clear that at least I killed them all, and this is exactly what they saw in their dream. I felt sorry for you. You thought that Goku would be the reason for this, but now I have come from where you did not expect to get rid of you. At this moment, while the villain was talking to himself, he received a very strong blow, which he did not know where it came from. The truth is that Mikashin had come and completely destroyed the planet to affect this villain. After she knew that all the friends had been killed, she attempted to destroy the planet in order to cause great harm to this being. The villain fell down exposed, to harm and in Mikashin's hands. Mikashin was amazed at this, considering that he had died, but the truth was that perhaps that evil magician had emerged from this body, which had now become weak and fallen without moving. So where did the evil spirit go again? This means that he saw someone stronger than this being, and it is clear that he moved to exploit his body, and this will put everyone in danger. Meanwhile, Goku woke up from his slumber after being unconscious, and found a group of people surrounding him, all of whom looked like scions. Goku turned right and left, and whenever he turned to a corner, he found someone standing in front of him and staring at him. It seemed that he met all the scions who then ended their matter with obliteration, and they are now much stronger than any other fighter in the outside world. After a full day of the tragedy that befell planet Earth, Mikashin the priest's wife used the Super Dragon Balls in order to restore planet Earth as it was before. This was after she had destroyed it herself in order to harm the evil one who had taken control of existence. That strange being that terrified and frightened everyone has ended, and now peace has returned to the planet. Earth and all creatures returned to what they were. Mikashin headed to the surface of the Earth to meet individuals. Her goal in this coming was to meet Vegeta, who has now become the hero of this planet. We thank you for your good treatment with us, Mikashin, but it seems to me that this is not enough. I still need to improve myself. I do not like to see myself weak in this way. Don't worry Vegeta, this is exactly why I came. As you know, Goku who was protecting this planet and the rest of the seventh universe has finished. Now it is your turn to bear this responsibility. So I will give you some time to train you, and I hope you will be careful to commit. After several seconds of this dialogue, the entire climate was destroyed, all the oceans and seas shook, and the regions were struck by a very strong hurricane that left everyone surprised. What caused this and why did the situation turn upside down in the blink of an eye? What is happening? Peace has just returned, where this disaster leaked. Mikashin felt terrified at this time. This was the first time she felt the strange feeling, which made her doubt that the evil had not ended yet. While everyone was at this moment holding themselves together, they heard a strange sound, evidence that evil had invaded this place, but no one knew where it was exactly. There was a person laughing in all regions, and his voice was heard throughout the planet. Conditions remained as they were before, and after that the situation calmed down completely and returned to what it was, and everyone was fully aware that there was evil that had not ended yet and that one must prepare for it. No one knows where it is and how it will appear, so it is not possible that villain who everyone thought was killed is still alive. Everyone is wondering this question. Vegeta ignored this situation and thought about focusing on his training in order to take responsibility for this planet. He actually headed to an isolated area in order to undergo these harsh training and stages that would be severe for his life. The events take place like this, in an exiled and empty place filled with nothing. As we know, Goku was sent here as soon as he was erased by the priest, and a group of kings who are considered scions appeared. What caught Goku's attention was that they looked like him, and some of them resembled Vegeta. Goku received a strong blow from one of the scions after they mocked him, and he learned that his level of strength was actually terrible and very strong, as this is a place where one can train, and there is no need to eat, rest, or even drink, and fatigue cannot affect anyone. Oh my god, who are these people? I don't know what their intention is towards me. They are all staring at me. It seems that they have been erased. As long as they are here, it will be like that. 
One of the kings advanced towards Goku and each one of them began to raise their level of power to the maximum. They made a special display for Goku in order to see the extent of their true level of strength and the extent to which they possess levels that cannot be matched. But one of all those kings remained standing without moving and showing no strength. His appearance suggested that he was old, and he stood staring at Goku without moving, as Goku literally said, That guy is interesting and I have no doubt that he will be the strongest of them all. Son Goku, I know why you came. How did you know my name? This can't be real. As you see, I appear to you to be old. I am older than all those people who appear to you now, and I am their ruler, and as long as I remain so, I am the most distinguished among them, and I possess a power that cannot be rivaled by anyone. This is the law that I have enforced in this place every time. Someone with terrible power is trying to remove me from this position, and if he fails, I have the right to remain king. So if, then why didn't you show your awesome strength and why did you ignore him and not show it like they all did? This is clear because I will harm you, little one. You must be well aware that the strength they have is superior to you in strength. You will surely be turned to pieces. Goku was shocked after he heard these words, and this is what caught his attention. How could this person be so powerful? Also, what is his identity and how did he reach this place? As long as he is here, this means that he has been erased. But how can a king like this be erased when he has awesome power? Son Goku, come with me. I want you to have a direct conversation. You must know many things in order to know well what your mission is in this place. Goku actually had an interview with this old man, who also seemed to be a scion. In fact, a dialogue took place between them, and the old man discovered the reason for Goku's resurrection in the world of exile. Well, Goku, everything you told me now has left me discovering something important, which I will tell you about. You do not know something by coming to this place, and you will know it after I tell you the reason for my coming as well. In fact, the reason I came to this place was the one called Beerus. What do you say, Beerus? Do you mean the ruler of destruction responsible for managing the affairs of the seventh universe? Yes, he's the reason I was erased after he lied to Zeno. I was a prisoner of a scion people. He claimed that I was ruling them with deviant and illegal laws. All this because I was distinguished by wisdom and had a very intelligent mind through which I could discover any source of power and how to acquire it. I reached a stage where I was able to acquire the Hakai power of the rulers of destruction. Beerus was thinking of any way to get rid of me, so he told Zeno that I was inciting people to commit crimes with this technique and that I was not treating him in a good way. This is what made Zeno think about wiping out without thinking carefully, given that he lacks wisdom in his childish mentality. I actually thought of something. Can't you get out of this place? Isn't there any way? You even have an amazing power. You can sense external forces. Is not it? I think you are talking about instant transmission. In fact, I do not have that technique, but as long as you mentioned it, this means that you have acquired it, Goku. Yes, I am, but you have not yet told me how you knew my name. As long as you have known it, there is no doubt that you have seen me at some point. Well, the way I know your name is that I am able to follow the events of what is happening in the world of the living. What? Do you have this technology? So let's share our strength and rely on our techniques until we get out of this place. I can sense someone's strength outside and through that I can move to where he is in the blink of an eye. If that's the case Goku, why don't you rely on it now and get out of this empty place? At this moment, Goku actually tried to resort to teleportation and feel someone's strength, but to no avail. Goku was not actually able to achieve this technique because he did not actually feel any strength. Here an idea came to this old scion's mind, and perhaps Goku must develop his strength so that he can do that. Goku suggested an idea to this old man which is to depict for him a scene of what is happening in the world of the living and focus on the important scene and also show him what is happening with all the characters, and this is what it actually happened. He also checked with his friends. The palace was fine, and Zeno accompanied his parents every day. Better yet, Vegeta was training with Mikashin. All of this was observed by Goku carefully from the world of emptiness, but what caught Goku's attention was something strange. After the old man shines a light on Beerus in order to embody the scene, what is happening with Beerus is something wrong. Beerus was struck by something that made him move in an unnatural way. Beerus did not control his body, and the color of his skin changed to black. All of this was hidden without Wiss knowing it. Beerus was in his room alone, then he started screaming loudly. Suddenly the place exploded, and after that Wiss rushed to see him. Perhaps Beerus has contracted a disease or something similar. What was feared was that evil that was banished with Goku. According to his belief, Beerus came out with a different face and an unnatural appearance. Is this what I see? Beerus, this is you. 
Your appearance has changed what just happened. Excuse me for bothering you, Wiss, but let me show you something. Beerus rebelled at this moment and then harmed Wiss through a cunning attack that made Wiss fall vulnerable to injury, unable to move. Here Beerus thought about leaving this place and heading to Zeno's palace, unable to control his nerves. The curse of magic that struck Beerus was so strong that it surrounded Zeno's palace. The whole climate has changed there. Zeno's father sensed this mistake and thought about going out to meet this intruder, as this was the first time the danger had reached this degree. What the hell brought you here? What just happened? Well, there is no need to answer. I believe that my arrival has a clear effect. Either you obey me out of love or by force. What are you saying? You want to awaken strife then? All I have to do is annihilate your existence. Zeno's father quickly besieged this evil that suddenly came, but Beerus was in control and dominant. His attacks had destroyed the entire place and left nothing but ashes. Goku was angry after he saw this sight, but the old man tried to calm him down and guide him to training until he mastered his strength, and thus reaching a sufficient level to try the instant transmission technique. As soon as it would work well for him, Goku constantly trained in this place, which was a long period of time compared to outside life. 